Your prospect connected with you on LinkedIn, you open up your mobile phone, you search for them, you hit messages, and now you see that tiny little microphone on the bottom right hand of your screen and you wanna send them a 60 second voicemail. What can you say that will stack the odds in your favor for getting a response? That is what we're gonna talk about today. Let's start with your intent or your mindset. I want you to resist the urge to persuade. It's not your job to talk people into things. When people feel like you're trying to talk them into something, they pull away. So do you, so does everyone. So instead, I'm gonna show you an approach that piques curiosity. It actually gets the prospect to subconsciously think, hmm, I'm not sure, what is this? I'm a little curious, I wanna lean forward a little bit. How do you do that? Step number one is we're gonna actually create what's called an open loop. A gap between what the prospect knows and what they wanna know. That might sound like this. Uh, hey, Mike, got an unusual question for you. Now, when you say that, the brain is gonna to wanna to close that. Like, what is this unusual question? Just a natural tendency that brains have. They wanna close information gaps. From there, we're gonna actually talk about a problem that your prospect might not know about that can hurt them. What terrible, no good, very bad thing happens if your prospect doesn't respond to this message? What is the cost of inaction? So by way of context, we're gonna use a company called Gravy Solutions targeted at a prospect, which is me. So here's how that might sound. Uh, hey, you know, we're seeing that a lot of content creators using Stripe are losing 18 to 20% month over month due to failed payments without even knowing it. If you send a message like that to me, it's gonna make me pause and scratch my head and think, am I losing that much money every month? Like, how would I even know that? From there, we're gonna poke the bear. We're gonna ask a question that is difficult for someone to answer. And that might sound like this. Was wondering how you're recovering failed payments. Um, I don't even know if I have them, I'm not even sure. I better like look into this, I'm gonna lean forward. And from there, we're gonna detach from the outcome by saying something like this. Happy to share what other course creators are doing, but first I wanted to see if this is something you'd be open to exploring. No rush, I'll shoot you an email as well. When you detach and use phraseology like, if this is something, no rush, you're subconsciously telling the brain, there's no pressure here. Hope this was helpful and hope it creates messages for you that inspire your prospects to lean forward.